ready for 150 speed 5 seconds start friends i am happy to associate myself with the seminar on hotel industry in karnataka sponsored by the state financial corporation all mysore hoteliers association and commercial banks i am grateful to the organizers for the opportunity provided to me to be here this afternoon and to share with you some of my thoughts about developing the infrastructure for tourism promotion with special reference to the development of the hotel industry in the last two days you have listened to illuminating addresses by the union minister of state for tourism and civil aviation the state minister for health the chairman of the indian tourism development corporation and the managing director of the state financial corporation you have also heard a number of points on several aspects of tourism promotion and have no doubt taken a keen interest in the discussions that have taken place from all accounts this has been a very successful seminar at which various problems facing the hotel industry in our state in particular and tourism industry in general have been discussed experts in the field have informed you of all the facts and figures about this important industry which has been considered a priority industry by the central and state governments you have also discussed the important aspects like provision of finance for the hotel industry the requirement of tourists role of the public and private sectors and all such connected matters i shall therefore not dwell on the various points you have already discussed i will only confine myself to what can be done in a pragmatic way to make karnataka a mini splendid state a tourist destination not only for foreign tourists but also domestic tourists it has been repeatedly stated that tourism is the fastest growing industry in the world as many as 200 million tourists travel in different parts of the world and the turnover is of the order of 12000 crores of rupees a year it is a matter of regret that only a tiny fragment of the tourists come to this country and the earnings from tourism are also negligible however the central government and the state governments have realized the importance of promotion of tourism both foreign and domestic and it is gratifying to note that there has been a steady growth in the influx of tourists thanks to the energetic Promotional efforts undertaken by Government of India, nearly 4 lakh visitors have come to this country last year, enabling this country to earn a foreign exchange of about 70 lakhs of rupees, excluding the earnings of Air India and the Indian Airlines. There has also been a significant increase in the duration of the stay of tourists, which is said to be 25 days on an average. From this, it is not very difficult for us to hope for and also provide for a million tourists to visit this country by the end of this decade. As the chairman of the Indian Tourist Development Corporation said yesterday, even if only 1% of the tourists visit India, the foreign exchange earnings will be of the order of 400 crores of rupees. This is no doubt an impressive figure, but it is not beyond our reach. It only requires a concerted effort on the part of all concerned to provide the required infrastructure by way of accommodation, transport, food, souvenirs and entertainment in an organized way so that tourists can make India their destination. It is gratifying to note that the central government has appreciated the need for quick travel facilities. After all, a tourist cannot be expected to undertake long journeys either by road or by rail to visit tourist centers no matter how attractive they are, the accessibility of tourist spots thus acquires importance. I am glad that the Union Ministry of Civil Aviation has given due importance to this aspect and besides developing international airports in the country, has decided to provide more airport facilities in the state also. The airport at Bangalore is being improved and better facilities are expected to be provided at the existing airports at Mangalore and Belgaum. Work on the airport at Hassan is going ahead and I hope the Ministry of Civil Aviation at the centre will also consider developing the airport at Mysore besides commissioning in the next few years 
airports at other places in the state. If airports at these centers are developed and the Indian Airlines is able to have regular flights, it will no doubt provide a great fillip to tourist promotion. In such an event, I am quite sure that the state government will supplement the efforts of the Union government and think of providing smarter aircrafts for quick travel within the state. Accessibility to tourist spots means not only airlinks but also provision of good motorable roads. We in the state are fortunate in having a wide network of national and state highways which connect most of the important tourist spots. But yet there is great need for good approach roads to several tourist centers, games, sanctuaries and hill stations. I have no doubt that the state government will give priority to the provision of such roads. In this connection, I must mention that for the proper development of tourist centers, it is necessary that their surroundings are not cluttered up with unwanted structures. I believe the state government has already issued orders that government land or even private land in and around tourist spots must not be leased out or sold for construction without first taking into consideration the needs of tourism. I hope that this order will be strictly enforced and the allotment of land in and around tourist centers will be made only for tourism promotion. Lastly, I would like to mention that there is need for some kind of code of ethics among all those engaged in the tourism trade to ensure that tourists coming to our state are not inconvenienced or harassed or cheated. I once again thank the sponsors of this seminar for having invited me to participate in this function and I hope that the deliberations of this seminar will lead to concrete action on the part of all concerned in ensuring excellent facilities for tourists visiting the Karnataka state.